Hey y'all, welcome back to your girl channel. Welcome back to another Lexi topic discussion. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all are sup, feeling sup. good, looking good, all of that great good stuff. So today is pretty much just off the dome. We freestyling per usual. Facts. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to start first. So I've been wanting to talk about this. He, you ain't really been wanting to talk about this. Oh, I already know. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so what I want to ask you is, basically, when it comes to being intimate with the one person, a lot of, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this lately, um, and they say, mm, it's not really possible because there's so many different people in the world, and it's like, why, I feel like it's self, well, I don't feel like this, I'm just... You know, saying what people have been saying. So, yeah, they'd be like, it's selfish, you know, for you to be with one person. It's selfish for your partner to think that it's okay for you just to be the only one. All of this type of stuff in the third. Me, personally, I feel like it's possible to be with one person. Like, I'm like, why not? If you love that person and y'all are, you know, matching each other vibes and, you know, y'all can relate to each other. Y'all can be open with each other. Y'all, you know, know what each other like and stuff like that. I feel like it's no problem with being intimate with that one person for forever. So, I mean, what it, you feeling? I mean, I get it. Everybody got everybody different. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. Everybody different. Okay, so even though you're saying everybody different, what you mean? So what's your perspective? Do you feel like you could be intimate with one person for the rest of your life? No, because I'm with you and we have the understanding. That goes by saying that everybody's different. Most men have multiple wives because they have a foundation. Most couples have open relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most couples just think they can do what they want to do and don't sit their mate down. That's what right. I mean to say everybody. Yes, did. but that's the problem though because I feel like if you sit your mate down you'll be you'll be surprised what they you know are with and what they aren't with. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like people be asking about threesomes too. I was just recently asked, you know, would I participate in a threesome? Really? Yeah. I was and I was like, uh-uh, don't even ask me that. I'm not with it. <laughs> but that's just me because I'm not into girls. And I feel like to have a threesome, you have to be into girls. And I know you can't speak for that because you a man, you know, so you don't know. That is a good question, though. What? What you just said. What I say? What did you say? I said, <laughs> I'm weak as fuck. But I basically said, like, being asked about a threesome. So... Yeah, I was asked, do Did I want to be in a threesome? And I said no, because I don't want, I don't like girls. That's what I'm saying. So, we're going to ask the audience. Make sure y'all comment below, like, for you, for your, for a, uh -huh. a woman to have a threesome with her man, do you have to be gay? Because you, all three of y'all in the same room. Exactly. And y'all all see each other Y'all both stuff. naked. So, it's like. Yeah. So, it's like. What, is, what type of role do y'all play? I don't get it. But, yeah, that is, that's what I'm trying to say. It's a good question. Oh, okay. And true. But yeah, like you said, it does depend on the roles. Because if the girls are not touching each other, it's different. Yeah, no, but I feel good. like most threesomes, the girls have to be doing some type of touching. You know, but maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe they're just all pleasing the guy. But like I said, I don't feel like... Probably so. Yeah. But for me, it's a big no. Y'all y'all may beg to differ, but me, uh-uh. I can't do it. And I'm not going to say I'm just a jealous girlfriend or nothing like that. But if my man getting some good head or some ass, <laughs> or some ass, like a fat ass, my ass ain't the fattest right now, but honey, I'm working on it. But I'm just saying like the fattest ass, you know what I'm saying? Thrown back on his dick. I'm going to be like, what the fuck? And then he probably like, when we leave out the room, he probably going to be thinking like, damn. And that's just how I feel. Why the fuck would I put myself in that predicament to be looking crazy? Good question. And I'm not saying I'm insecure. I would never. Is it just what you stand on? But this is just yeah, what I stand got their old on. Everybody got what they stand on. So, I mean, it ain't no right or wrong. It just it's no right or wrong. understanding from your mate. Yes. That's all. Vice versa. Well, I ain't going to say vice versa, but. If you in an open relationship, mm -hmm. like they go for men and women, cause you got some sucker niggas out here like Will Smith. <laughs> oh Lord, that did shit like that. Try to deny. Wait, it. wait, pause. What did Will Smith do? It was open relationship. She oh. basically Will let August 
hear this that shit. That was different. That was I ain't never heard of that's that. That's an open relationship on yeah. bed or whatever. That's an entanglement. That shit is mm-hmm. nasty. You weird as fuck if you some guys don't give a damn. It's really some cool. I know black you would guys. never. Hell no, it just I ain't gonna say it's <laughs> so cool, but it's really some dudes that really don't give a damn. Don't care. And I heard the reason why they did it was because you know they were going through some things. So that's why they was uh, he gave August the okay because they weren't really together at that time. But it's but y'all still, still weird. living in the same house. Yeah, y'all still in the same house. What the fuck I'm not judging nobody. See, that's what it come down to where just sitting your mate down to understanding and mm-hmm. do some weird shit. And, it, and as you see, it didn't end up well. But yeah, it didn't. End. But yes, like you said, uh, understanding is going to go a long way in a relationship and in life, period. Because having an open conversation, it just, it's so free. It's just so amazing. That's why I love, you know, having conversations with him, whether it can be intimidating whether it could be like intense it's still good to have a conversation to get things off of your chest you know because holding stuff in is not healthy and that's what i learned i used to always think i could conquer the world by myself that and it's not possible drag you loose <laughs> it will it will have you feeling so depressed and so sad but you know there's something that you can't talk to the world or your mate about just something that you gotta work on you know? that's true that's me mm. so Okay. Oh. But that is true, though. Like, it's certain things I can't talk to you about. Because it's stuff I got to work on. But it's certain things that I know I need to talk to you about. Because I can't hold this in. Same here. But I feel like that's why people go to therapy. Yeah, yeah. I think I do need therapy, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Because a lot of people say that. Like, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, they only look at you. Everybody need therapy. Yeah. So bad if you're doing good or bad, you don't like mental health is real. You might Ooh, not think uh, you don't have it, but hey, trauma real, man. God knows. And that's it could what, be some small things that mm-hmm. fucked up people's lives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> but you know, everybody different. Everybody, everybody don't is think different. the same. Don't have the same mentality. No, and that's what I was gonna say too, as far as um therapy, like. When I was pregnant, I had a miscarriage. Um, the doctor at the health center, she was telling me, she was like, "Yeah, you need to talk to a therapist." A therapist. I don't yeah, know if I she seen it. She said that. I don't know if she seen it in me or it's just that was something that was big that was going on during that time. You know, to tell Some their patients about stuff. therapy. Yeah, or that too. But yeah, she was telling me that she said because your boyfriend or your cousin, your auntie, your mama, they just look at you like a family member, like your girlfriend or mm-hmm. niece or something. But they don't really know what you're going through. That's why you know the assuming come about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That I mean, they really don't care because they go through their shit. That's, yeah, that's the com- black community for you. Mm-hmm. So no, that's for real. We just so prideful of things. We we ashamed to talk to our family members, and sometimes it's like that, man, because family mm-hmm. members. Certain family, not all family members. Certain family members just they looking at you like, okay, nigga, like, what you gonna do about it? But they mm-hmm. ain't gonna really actually. But they don't realize. Peak the points of how you feel. Yes. And for you to really think for yourself to overcome it. That's mm-hmm. therapy all about. Yes. That is what therapy is all about. Like, really get to the core of that shit hurts through your soul and yes. your heart. Real shit. And I feel like that's a that lot shit of make pain. You cry. Like, that's what I'm about to say, therapy, too. Yeah, that shit. Woo. Really. You did it with me one time, and I was, I think I teared up. Because <laughs> you were telling me you was digging deep. I was like, oh my God, I was starting to cry. Yeah. But yeah, it's really therapeutic. But that's too much on one person. Yeah, of course. So that's why I see why they say get somebody else. Because. We both go through stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I can't be here all the time with all your problems. Because that's a lot on me. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just like you can't be here all the time with my problems. Because that's a lot on you. You got stuff you trying to do. As long as we trying to yes. overcome it. Because mm-hmm. one thing we had to realize in our relationship. We can't talk to each other about everything. No, that's what I had to realize. We can talk to sit down. We go through something mentally. But... Not everything. Not everything. Because we got to grow up. We yeah. got to learn for ourselves sometimes. We, we got to grow up. know we tell each other everything. But yes. sometimes we just... I kind of grow up growing out of that a little bit. Yes, you are. And I'm so happy that you, know that I mean? you so, are. And have I... Did I used to tell you a lot? Yeah. You used to. Yeah. I did too. Yeah, I did. But I'm growing out of it too. Yeah, you grew out of it. Yeah, because I got to learn... What I realized for real for y'all. What I realized is... I'm learning through life right now. It's certain things that you don't even be with me on a daily basis that I go through. Especially when I'm out, you know what I'm saying, and I'm not here at home. You don't know what I be going through. 
And that's stuff I gotta deal with on my own. As long as it ain't nothing per, like no nasty shit. Yeah, no, you know, perverted and nothing yeah, like that. You should never hold back from that. I, I definitely will not. I don't play that about nobody that I love dearly. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of people that do that. And you've been maids in your family. This is the black community. Uh, the black community. We need to tighten the fuck up. Yeah, we have some issues. Nah, we got a lot of issues that it ain't even called for. That's what I'm saying. We have some issues. So we have a lot can't of issues. Can't blame the white man, but go ahead. No, you surely cannot. You can't. And I won't even think what about it. What Papa does say, he said, niggas kill a nigga. That's a black problem. It, it is. our it, it, it ain't that problem because they, they done. They done. They, they done looking did. at y'all like, yeah, 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 I ain't gonna never figure this shit out. They only gotta do the minimum. They looking at, yeah, they looking at us. <laughs> they actually woke like us, like really woke. Other than that, they looking at y'all like, y'all just don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, of course, other coaches go through shit, too. Mm-hmm. But most of them come together. We don't. That's one thing about... We don't realize. come together worth a day. Mm-hmm. And once we do, it'd be a funeral. Mm-hmm. That, too. Like, it'd be corny shit. That, too. But like that video you showed... Well, you ain't showed me. I heard it yesterday. Yeah. That's what he was saying, too, about our community... Like, we just come together with a friend or stuff. And I used to think the same way, just a friend or a birthday party. But at the end of the day... It's the truth. It's the truth, but we got to think about it like this. How I feel about it is, even though that may be true... On a positive level. Though. On a positive level. All of us ain't like that. And we all go through stuff. Everybody do. That's what I'm saying. But that and we all you should th- not come together. But we all through different walks of life, too. And you're right. You just... You made a good point. But you know, so many people... And I used to be like that. So many people, we are dwelling in our sorrow, in our pain, in our depression. It's a pride thing because we don't want to show hurt. We show everything like we, especially us guys, mm-hmm. us black men, mm-hmm. of guys. We just, because that's the what the white man taught us. Mm-hmm. And you're hurting on the inside. You're right. I used to be like that. Ladies too. I used to be very prideful and me ego. Too. Somebody checked me one day. Like my first job was Hobby 55. And my friend Ashley, shout out to Ashley. Because she made this poet poetry right here. Um, You know that, that queen back there you see. But yeah. So her. She told me. She was like. You are prideful aren't you? And I was like. Huh? What that mean? I said yeah. Because I didn't know what it mean. I thought it meant like proud. And you know. <laughs> happy or something like that. She was like. No. You don't even know what it mean do you? I was like, I guess not. I, I was acting like I knew what it meant, and I really didn't. But the whole time, she was right. Like, couldn't nobody tell me nothing. I felt like it's my way or what you talking about. It ain't shit. That's how I feel. So, yeah. I was guilty of being very, very prideful. 